fish done. We fished live baits today all day. And we got three fish on live bait today. Three from that 40 live baits. And the other, the other 30 fish were all from jigging. Okay, and we were surrounded by 10 boats at 12 mile. This close. This close. All right. Four times we pushed boats off. All right. Um, this might be jigging. It's working really well. It's working really well with all the light stuff. Um, if you want to fish heavy, you can fish others. Guys fishing out there today with jigs and they were working really hard and they got a few fish and they got some good size fish. Um, we got a lot of fish. All right, so it's a matter of if you're after a feed or after a bit of fun or you're after bigger fish. But I'd rather get 20 fish to 85 centimetres than get one fish that's 92. It's just a lot more fun. First of all, I'm going to start with the lines. You can use colour coded line if you like. Colour coded lines, it, I don't know if you're aware or understand what colour coded line is. Every 10 metres it changes colour. And with this it tells you how deep your fish are. So by looking at the sounder and seeing 60 metres of fish depth on your sounder, you can drop six colours out and it can work there. All right. It's quite good, it's reasonable. There are a lot of colour lines on the market. Um, Shimano do a very good one, Death Hunter. It's quite good. I'm not too worried about it, I just use my favourite choice of lines. Um, which is, I think, what a lot of you guys could do because some of these fish were following us right up the top of the food column today. All right? They were on the bottom, they were on the top, they were in the middle, they were all over the place. So unless you've specifically got a school that's holding at 60 and it's not doing anything, you can really just use your, your, your favourite sort of line. Now, Gamoku are a company that uh, has designed these, these rods which have an incredible, incredibly, incredible parabolic curve which is just a banana bent, top to bottom, okay? This rod here in particular is, we're only using 30 pound line today at, at, as a, as a, at a max, okay? A lot of guys start with 12 and go to 17 and then go to 30. Right? That's how the three range of the Gamoku rods are designed. There's a white series and a black series. Um, they're colour coded, the red, the green, the blue, which tells you how heavy they are. The blue happens to be the heaviest one, okay? Um, being very, very parab parabolic, you don't really have to worry about high sticking too much and, and, and that sort of thing there because there's a lot of craziness going on when you've got five guys hooked up to fish and it's crazy and the last thing you really want is a, a broken rod. This also takes a lot easier on the angler's back. Um, you know, we fished for six hours straight today and we hardly even put the rods down because we just didn't need to. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pull um, the white 30 pound gamoku out and I'm going to try and lift this 10 pound ball off the ground, okay? This rod has a 14 and a half kilo deadlift. Some would say 15.3 kilos, but I know I've heard 14 point three, so see what's up. Don't stand near him right now, guys. No, I'm just kidding. This is a 10 pound downrigger bomb. Which I might struggle just to lift by myself. <coughs> I'll put them sunnies on, Daz, just in nah. case. <laughs> what are they They're designed as fish 14 kilos, aren't they? 14.5 kilos of deadlift. Okay, now this is a 30 pound leader. Okay. Now that is a 30 pound knot that I've fished with all day today. Alright? And nothing's not so And that's how Bendham and the Kings were diving. You sit there like this all day. That's how you sit. You don't you don't go, oh look, I've got him, no, he's got you. 